high definition. I wanted to address some specific points about the whole format war. Some things that have cropped up over the past two years that, that I found interesting or just silly in one way or another. And I wanted to bring them to you in, you know, somewhat lighthearted fashion, but well-informed fashion. Okay, now as far as my credentials go, I've been in the video world for... God, how long? Since 1987. So, a little over 20 years I've been a, a video maker and a video enthusiast. So, I know what I'm talking about, okay? I know what I ta I'm talking about. I work with a variety of formats, and I have worked with a variety of formats over the years. I know what I, as a video producer, look for in a particular format. And, uh... You know, and, and what I look for in terms of convenience, uh, storage capacity, uh, speed, quality, all these factors factor into my purchasing decision. Now, for me personally, when I looked at the specs of HD DVD versus Blu-ray, Blu-ray was a clear choice for me, uh, solely based on the storage capacity. You know, I mean, a Blu-ray disc holds... A single ra uh, single ray single layer Blu-ray disc holds 25 gigabytes of information. Okay, a single layer HD DVD disc holds 15 gigabytes of information. Now, for me, I work with video a lot. These video blogs that I do, I save in DVAVI format, basically meaning that it's uncompressed, full quality video, and because you know, for the archives, right, for my personal archives. So I save it in, in full quality, the, the full uh, quality of how it was originally recorded uh, for the archives. So, for me, storage capacity is a big deal. You know how much DV takes up? You're looking at 12 gigs for one hour of video. 12 gigs! That's a lot. If I were to spread that out over single layer DVDs, we're looking at three DVDs to contain one tape of information. You know, the equivalent. I mean, it's it's staggering how quickly you can chew up disk space with, with working in DV format. So, for me, um, I was looking at the new formats from a, you know, computer standpoint, looking as, as a data storage solution, um, even if only a temporary one. Now, so for me, it's like... Right now, I can go out and purchase a spindle of 100 blank DVDs for about 30 bucks if they're on sale. So, you know, looking at about 30 cents a piece. That's pretty good. So 4 gigs times 100, you're looking at about 400 gigs of storage on a spindle. Now, let's put this into the high-def uh, format um, perspective. So, if I were to go out and buy a spindle of 100 Blu-ray discs, that's 25 gigs per disc times 100. We're talking 2.5 terabytes of storage on a single 100 disc spindle. Now, to be fair, spindles of that size are not available yet. In fact, I don't think you can get any spindles of the high def formats, simply because at the moment they're really expensive. Why? Because they're new. Simple. It's the same thing when CDs, like when burnable CDs came out, they were expensive. Burnable DVDs came out, they were expensive. But eventually, as consumers adopted the new formats, the prices went down. There were more companies manufacturing blanks, so they compete with each other, and the prices go down. That's the way it works. The same thing will happen with Blu-ray. So here's the thing. Okay, so a spindle of 100 Blu-ray discs would give me 2.5 terabytes of storage. That's huge. And a single disc, a single 25 gig disc, I could fit two hours of full quality DV video on one disc. So that means on a spindle of 100, I could fit 200 hours of video with no loss of quality whatsoever. I'm talking purely data storage, okay? That's significant. That's really significant. Now, the flip side of that, you get a, hundred, a spindle of 100 um, uh, HD DVD discs, that's 1.5 terabytes of storage. So I've lost an entire terabyte of storage. One terabyte is a thousand gigabytes. A thousand! 
That's the equivalent of like more than two spindles of blank DVDs. That's huge. How can you people say that that's not significant? That is hugely significant. <sighs> and here's the real kicker. Here's the real kicker. Blank HD DVD discs and blank Blu-ray discs cost the same. So why would I spend 20 bucks for 15 gigs of storage when I can spend the same amount of money to get 25 gigs of storage? That's a huge difference. And I don't understand how the HD DVD side can go off saying, oh, storage capacity doesn't matter. Storage capacity doesn't matter. Yes, it does matter. And I'll tell you why. Let's look at it from the home video perspective. Okay, the home video perspective. Up until recently, high definition movies on Blu-ray and HD DVD have had one thing in common. The movie is in high definition, 1080p high definition, beautiful quality. The extras, however, standard definition. Why? Simple. I, I can't believe nobody has pointed this out. The, the answer is so freaking simple. Okay, movie industry, video game industry, everything operates on one principle. Manufacture everything that meets, that, that, that caters specifically towards the lowest common denominator. Okay? I'm going to get into something else in a minute that really ticks me off. But, okay. Lowest common denominator. So in this case, HD DVD had 15 gigs of storage on a single layer disk or 30 gigs of storage on a dual layer disk, okay? Which means you're looking at about a minimum 15 gigs just for the movie. That's it. That doesn't leave a lot of space left over, which means if they want to cram on a whole bunch of extras, they've got to keep the file sizes low, meaning standard definition. What am I getting at here? The reason we see this movie in high def, extras in standard def, is because everything was being mastered with both formats in mind. If they mastered everything for Blu-ray with the higher disc capacity, that would mean the, high, the HD DVD version would have to be split across multiple discs to contain the same content. Do you think they want to be doing that? No, it costs money to make discs. Not a lot per unit, but it adds up. And especially with a new format, like high definition, where the market saturation is not to the point where it can support multiple formats like that and justify the expense. So, they manufacture for the lowest common denominator. Which is why you see a lot of HD DVD and Blu-ray discs, first generation ones, mastered using the same files, using the same codecs. Because they're making them to fit on the HD DVD discs. The result is the Blu-ray users get shafted because they're getting discs that don't take full advantage of the format. Until now. The first one that I'm aware of off the top of my head, at least the first one that got a lot of press, was Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. Came out in both Blu-ray and HD DVD with one major difference. The Blu-ray version contains most of the extras also in high definition. The HD DVD version, all the extras are standard definition. This is the way things are going, okay? Blu-ray has the additional storage capacity, so it can handle the larger file sizes required for having both the movie and the extras in high definition. Now, some of you may be thinking, well, what's the big deal? Who cares if the extras are in high definition? The main thing is the movie. And yeah, that, that's true. But, myself, as a film enthusiast who enjoys watching, you know, the behind-the-scenes stuff as much as, if not more than, the movie, I'd like to see that material in high definition. I'd like to see all the nitty-gritty details as, you know, we're looking at concept paintings, or we're looking at the, the detail on the models used for the special effects and things like that. That's stuff that I think would really benefit from high definition. And the thing that's pissed me off is because they've been mastering for the lowest common denominator, trying to cater to both formats simultaneously while cutting expenses, we have not been able to see that type of material. Do you, do you see what I'm getting at? The gaming world. 
Okay, Microsoft rushed out the Xbox 360 a full year ahead of the PS3 and the Wii. Both high-def formats, HD DVD and Blu-ray, weren't ready yet. They went with regular DVD. REGULAR DVD! And it's touted as a high-definition gaming platform. Because of Microsoft's insistence of pursuing their own agenda and getting a jump on the competition, that means we're going to have games, games that are multi-platform, put on Blu-ray discs that don't have more than 9 gigs of content. So Xbox, get on the ball! Put out a Blu-ray player for the Xbox.